Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate St. Jerome, a priest who translated the Bible into Latin. May we also imitate his love for the Word of God written in the Bible. And may we open up ourselves to the graces and workings of the Holy Spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest, St. Jerome, a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Have you ever in your lifetime commanded the morning and shown the dawn its place for taking hold of the ends of the earth till the wicked are shaken from its surface? The earth is changed as is clay by the seal and died as though it were a garment. But from the wicked the light is withheld, and the arm of pride is shattered. Have you entered into the sources of the sea, or walked about in the depths of the abyss? Have the gates of death been shown to you, or have you seen the gates of darkness? Have you comprehended the breadth of the earth? Tell me if you know all. Which is the way of the dwelling place of light? And where is the abode of darkness? That you may take them to their boundaries and set them on their homeward paths. You know because you were born before them and the number of your years is great. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am of little account. What can I answer you? I put my hand over my mouth. Though I have spoken once, I will not do so again. Though twice, I will do so no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have probed me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways, you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Please stand. Today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you, listens to me. Whoever rejects you, rejects me. And whoever rejects me, rejects the one who sent me. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, as we come towards the end of this week, we have been reflecting from the book of Job. And we have seen the experience of Job, how broken he was, the brokenness of man, the suffering of man. But we can see that in our first reading today, it is God's turn to speak to Job. We can see that even in the brokenness of Job, even in the brokenness of man, God can work. Akala ni Job, iniwanan na siya ng Diyos. Akala niya, iniwan na siya ng pagmamahal ng Panginoon. Pero sa gitna pala ng mga sugat niya, sa gitna ng pagdurusa niya, kumikilos pa rin ang Diyos. That is why in our first reading, God was talking to Job and He reminded him, have you made the sun rise or the sun set? Have you measured the world or the universe from end to end? Have you made the sky rain? Have you made the sun shine? It is not you who are working. It is God. It is I, God said, who is working. My dear brothers and sisters, the story of Job reminds us and teaches us that God can work through broken people. Ang Panginoon kayang kumilos kahit sa isang taong sugatan kahit sa isang taong nagkakamali, kahit sa isang taong hindi perpekto, kumikilos pa rin ang Diyos. That was the mistake of our gospel reading today, the mistake of the people of Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum. They thought that they were the perfect people. So, it is only through them that God can work. But Jesus reminded them, God can work also even through Tyre and Sidon. The people they looked down to because they were pagans and not believers. But God reminded them, God can work 
even through pagans, even through Tyre and Sidon, even if they were imperfect, even if they were broken, God can work through them. Mga minamahal na kapatid, pinapaalala ng Diyos sa atin ngayon, hindi lang tayo ang kumikilos. Kahit na ikaw ay nagkamali, kahit na ikaw ay may pagdurusa at sugatan, kumikilos pa rin ang Diyos sa atin. We remember today Saint Jerome, the translator of the Bible from the original Hebrew and Greek to Latin. He was known to be hot-tempered. Mainitin daw ang ulo ni Saint Jerome. And whenever he would debate people because of the truth, he would lash out hot and fiery words. He was known to be like that. But even in his brokenness, God was able to work. And St. Jerome would always say, I have translated many works in the Bible, but it is not I who worked. It was the Holy Spirit working in me. My dear brothers and sisters, if you feel that you are a broken person, like Job in our first reading, like St. Jerome, remember that God can use you, God can work through you, and God's power will always prevail even through our brokenness. Amen. Please stand. We pray for all men and women that they may heed Christ and respond to the call for conversion and renewal. For every petition, let us say, Lord, open our hearts. Lord, open our hearts, that the church may be instrumental in bringing people back to the fold and in preparing them so they could enter God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord open, open our, our hearts. hearts, that leaders of nations may join hands in bringing freedom and dignity to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord open, open our, our hearts, hearts, that we may be renewed from day to day through faith in the Word of God, calling us to a better life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, open our hearts, that those who are weakened by sickness or infirmity may be assured of love and support by their families and loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, open our hearts, that eternal salvation may be granted to the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, open our hearts, Eternal Father, heal our selfishness and open our hearts to receive the good news of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jerome, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Jerome, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only, only say, the, say word, the word, and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful so that, attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following it, obtain life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God.